Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm just gonna do some quick dimensions on this uh, cargo plane and on the wing down there. So I'm gonna grab my ruler right quick, just in case any of you guys wanna build it. Um, let's see, from here to here is seven inches. From here to here is 10 inches. From there to there, it's 3 inches. Uh, the elevator length is, I don't know, this is kind of in the way, so run that all the way down there is 22 and a half inches the actual control surface itself is two and a half inches okay maybe more like yeah it's around two and a half the length of the fuselage by itself is 36 inches and then with the tail added on is another seven inches so thirty six plus seven uh... forty three inches yeah wait no fifty three inches um... the length of the uh... front window is three inches this little curvy part here, and, uh, faces sideways, is five inches. But you got to add that that curve right there into it. Um, and from there to there is four inches. And you don't need to worry about these things because you might not even put those on there if you don't want to. Um, one thing that I should have done was bevel these edges right here, but I don't know. Um, yeah, you could just cut that hole however big you want it. Because that's just for access for the wing, all the stuff in the wing to go in there. And the width of the fuselage is uh, five and a half inches. But it's actually, the inside of it is only four and a half inches. But once you add a half of an inch for for this and this for the two sections that that squash it together, it adds another uh, inch on there, which makes it five and a half inches. And the rudder control by uh, by itself is two inches, and the overall height is 13 inches and then you guys can just cut the doors however big you want it but um I added an extra door right here for the battery because uh, this door over here just didn't give me enough space to go back there so I added another one right here I don't know if I had that on the last video or not but that's what I put right there and I added another door up here just for like access to the uh, hatch back here and stuff like that so I can put stuff all in there and stuff like that. So. And then I put a control horn on the actual uh, door itself that way I can just mount a servo just right there on this wall right here. Whoops. Facing at an angle that way it just whoops, comes all the way down there. So that's what I might use this hatch for because the servo is going to be like right there. So I can just adjust it from right here. So now we can move on to the dimensions of the wing. Just put them down there. Yeah. I don't know when I'm going to get the cargo plane done because uh, Grace and Javi accidentally sent me the wrong motor. Uh, they sent me a 6 motor and a 9. So uh, the 6 is stronger than the 9. I thought it would have been the other way around, but the 6 is stronger than the 9. So it'll create a lot of uh, differential thrust in the engine. So I have to order another one. I just figured I'd keep the six because I might need it for something else. Because 
once I get another huge sheet of foam, I might get like two this time, huge sheets of foam. Then I'm going to build like a huge delta wing and uh, maybe a couple smaller ones. And then I'm going to order some uh, Depron, or some people call it Dapron. I don't know how you pronounce it. But um, so here's the dimensions for the for the wing. Whoops. Okay, well, my stick isn't long enough. So, from here to the middle, I actually measured it by the stick. So, from the outside edge to the center, is 36 inches. And from the center to the other outside edge is 36 inches. So, the whole thing, 36 plus 36, 72 inches long. And uh, I measured the motor mounts, uh, 26 inches um, from each edge, so 26 inches from the edge as well. Um, the servos go 2 inches back from the, from the middle spar, and the actual wing cord itself is uh, 12 inches. Because I measured it a foot. And then uh, the con this control surface itself is 3 inches. And the KF airfoil by itself is 6.5 inches. And the motor mounts, I pretty much just... The motor mounts are 4.5 inches back. And four and four and a half inches back on the same, same one. Four, so four and a half inches back on each one. ESCs are just gonna go like right there behind them. I already marked them where they're gonna go, and then the wires are just gonna run down all the way down here until it hits the center, and then they're just gonna come straight back there, straight back. So these are the dimensions on the cargo plane. Uh, if you guys want to make this or whatever, I haven't flown it yet, so I don't know. A lot of people might not want to make it until they know that it's actually going to fly or whatnot. Or some people just like to wing it and just build it. If it doesn't fly, then, you know. And if it does fly, then great. But um, those are your dimensions for the cargo plane. Um, comment, subscribe. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Bye.